I'm a fishing man out on the lake. All you need is a line and a pole that'll never break. Hey there, it's the Redneck Preppy with you, and yeah, didn't think you were going to see this again. It's the RLM Elite Bass Box by a Simple Fishing. Um, a good Canadian company. And just to give you a brief recap in case you're kind of new to the channel, uh, Simple Fishing announced last November that they were suspending operations for six months. And suspend is usually suspend. However, the, true to form, they actually did come back. They didn't come back in the six months, they said. But they came back in the eighth month, which is eh, close enough for government work. At any rate, they're back, so they have a variety of boxes that you can get. You got bass, uh, pike, multi species, walleye, I think. I don't know, whatever. There's different boxes. Go on the website, simplefishing.ca. At any rate, let's talk more rock. Let's get into this. I haven't even opened it up, I have no idea what's in it, so I'm very excited. So, anyway, this is the August bass box from simple fishing rlm elite and i'm going to tell you this box has got some weight to it i'm thinking there's a lot of stuff in there at any rate let's find out uh we got a card oh what's in the box we don't want to ruin that surprise but it's a lengthy list all right we got ourselves a simple fishing sticker we got ourselves a simple fishing sticker two stickers one box probably too too many in my books but they specialize in these very aggressive looking fish stickers so if you like that sort of thing Bob's your uncle holy cow they've actually got a magazine the elite angler first edition well there you go I'm gonna save this probably be worth a lot of money in the future welcome soft baits or hard baits which are better yeah they're both good uh, about the company well there's you go there's scott the guy who actually owns the company good to put a face to the name since i've talked to him and i've never actually uh, seen what the dude looks like mm -hmm. sharon win no crossword puzzle <laughs> well kidding okay let's stare into this enough talk what do we got first up the f-bomb go ahead drop an f-bomb very cute all right it's not bad looking you know you got yourself some blue some white hmm. whether it's twitched to top water as a surface bait retrieved as a shallow runner hmm huh. okay Apparently, uh, you can fish this at different depths. Very odd. Sinking, floating, rattle lure. I'm confused. Does it sink or does it float? Well, I'm going to look forward to finding out. I'm not familiar with the F-Bomb company. Although, perhaps they're made by Lucky Bug. A name that I have heard before. Okay. Designed in Canada, made in China. <laughs> well, Alright, great. Okay, cool. I like it. Good start. Next up, Lunker Hunt. A mainstay in practically every subscription box in the world. The Distress 6F. Floats. You've got my attention. It's got an erratic surface action. Wait a minute. It floats but it's got a six foot depth. What am I missing? Am I confused? Do I know, not know anything about fishing lures now? Half an ounce, three and a half inches in length, six feet depth. <sighs> All right. So apparently, again, this is a lure that floats and both sinks. Maybe that's the theme of this box. Anyway, I like it. Uh, if it is a floating lure with erratic action, Bob's your uncle, man. Erratic surface action. Yeah, okay, I like it. I like surface lures. Everyone knows that. Soft floors, Mayhem Incursion Craw in Black Neon. You get a five pack. Wow, and you actually get some. I, I actually just used this scent of the other day while I was fishing. Uh, everyone who knows me knows that I do not believe whatsoever in scents, but it was one of those mornings where nothing was getting caught. So sometimes you have to 
do what you have to. So it's a craw. Mmm, smells like black licorice. I like it. Maybe I'll put this. There you go, we'll use the sticker for something. There you go. So you got yourself a black craw. Very nice. And uh, I, of course, drop the damn scent on the floor. All right. This is professional filmmaking at its best. Freshwater series. You got 10 millimeters. I think the actual size is 30 millimeters. At least that's the size I have in my bag. All right, that's cool. Yeah, I like it. I do fish a lot of weedy areas, so, uh, you know, rigging this, Texas rigging, or, you know, weighted whatever, this will come in useful. Super. Like it. Hey, what's this? More plastics. Fennex baits. I've seen these before in many different boxes. And it is a creature bait. If you can't see it, it's a purplish lizard creature bait. Speaking of Texas rigging, Carolina rigging maybe. Cool. Okay, I like it. Okay, so far so good. Holy crap, more soft plastics. And what you got here? You've got three inch Ned Zone, hot Ned Rig bait. I've never Ned Rigged anything, so I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not entirely sure what it is, but apparently they're soft plastics that have been chopped in half. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. Brandon Polnick approved. I like Brandon. Okay, I don't know much about Ned Rigging, so I'm not gonna uh, talk any crap one way or another about this. Okay, cool. I like it. We got ourselves a Booyah swimming jig. And was that like pumpkin or something? Prairie fire, of course. Everyone makes up their own colors. So yeah, there you go. You got yourself a, uh, a jig with a skirt and some rattles too. Swimming jig. Uh, I like these. I actually do tend to use these a fair bit in my attempts, never ending attempts to catch fish. Okay, cool. I like it. I'm not sure I would consider this a bass lure. In fact, I've gotten this lure before. I don't know if it was in the RLM Elite box, but I have gotten this lure before and uh, I promptly gave it away. So it's a really tiny little crawfish, as you can see. I mean, this is my thumb, so you can see it's not a very big lure. Yeah, uh, this is one of those, eh, okay, whatever. Uh, I don't see myself using this. Dives to three feet. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Whatever. Yeah, this one's kind of a flop for me. I got this in Hellgramite as part of this little Rebel Mini Lures series. And yeah, I didn't do much with it. All right, what do we got here? Oh, we got the ever popular Terminal Attactyl. You got some Octopus Hooks 1X. Five. Okay. I should see how much these are so I can be outraged by how much they're charging for these. Four ninety nine for five lures. Those are pretty freaking fancy hooks for a dollar a pop. Barbless at that. Yeah. Um, okay. Barbless. Wow. Some very large treble hooks. Size two. Five pieces. How much are these? Well, it's a treble hook. Four ninety nine for five of them. Again, very, very fancy lures for a dollar or uh, hooks for a dollar each. Yeah, um, I like having extra treble hooks because you know they do break, and I do replace at least a few hooks each year on lures. Uh, not in this size, though. Um, I don't fish whatever the hell these things are supposed to be for. Okay, yeah, again, not too keen on. And what else do we got here? Holy crikey. A scorpion. We got three of them in Emperor Red. Okay, use a three at three hot <laughs> offset hook. And they gave us a one hot offset hook. Kinda 
Should have paired that one a little bit there, Scott. Okay. Scented with a nase, bass syrup. Wow, I can't say I've ever used a scorpion lure. I'm not entirely sure where in the hell you would use a scorpion lure to catch bass. Um, I guess where there are scorpions and there are bass. I'm not familiar with the Venn diagram that would have both of these things in one place, or at least in proximity to each other. Hmm. 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 I'm not entirely sure how to react to this. <sighs> Scorpion lures, eh? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what to make of that. And they're very large, too. So uh, you're going for largemouth with these. Bigger largemouth at that. Okay. All right. It's a scorpion lure. Okay. Eh, that's all right. I like it. Hooks. Uh, I'll add to the ever-growing pile of mustad hooks in three and five packs that I get from tackle boxes. Uh, no use to me. Very much a use to me. Guess I'm gonna have to learn how to Ned rig. Good, I like it. Good, I like it. Good, I like it. Okay, so there you go, there's your box. Right about now at the bottom of the screen, you're seeing total value versus total cost to allow you to determine whether this box was financially worth it. Oh, I guess it's time for a uh, rating. Hmm, I haven't done this in so long that I almost forget how it works. Sorry, Scott, you're not gonna get the three thumbs this month, buddy. I know that you were looking forward to it. Um, hmm. You know, my initial reaction, I'm gonna go with two out of three thumbs, which is still a pretty good score. Um, yeah, there's, there's enough in here that, uh, you know what, I mean, like, the hooks, boy, I could I could use uh, you know a pass on terminal tackle for a while. Uh, the scorpion lures, uh, whatever. Uh, the little mini craw, I don't have any use for that either. Wouldn't that? I mean, two out of three is still a really decent score. Uh, you know, could be worse. You know, whatever. Anyway, if you found this unboxing slash uh, off the cuff of my head review of the August 2020 RLM Elite. Uh, bass box feel free to give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down whatever I don't care uh, leave a comment below what you think feel free to subscribe and uh, share the video if you'd like as well at any rate I hope the summer has been well for you and I hope you have tight lines bye bye